row tax 503 parachute handle it's a ballistic parachute ballistic recovery system my navcom here vertical speed indicator airspeed altimeter compass clock it's also got the temperature 15 degrees Celsius it's uh, about 8 o'clock right now there's my hydraulic brakes down to there this is a throttle and a choke and a primer for starting my pitot tube for airspeed I have a backup electric fuel pump and this is my fuel selector. I have left tank, right tank, center tank, which is the seat tank. Each tank holds uh, about four and a half gallons or so. And I have a battery down there, gel battery. And ignition switch there. The master switch for all the electrics shut off. The oil, low oil indicator for uh, oil injection tank. And uh, that's the switch for the fuel pump. And a switch for the strobe light. I also have a um, fuse box here. And right here is a uh, coil for my master. Now I see an ultralight flying over as we speak. Cedar Beaver. Isn't that cool? It's a plane like mine, just a two seater. He's not going to land though, he's probably going to Vernon or Salmon Arm. It's hard to see him there now, he's a little dot up in the sky. Right there. Well, here's the runway I just landed on. 400 feet long. Grass strip is just the best. There's the cows watching me. And there's the back of the plane. It's a aircraft sales and parts. Beaver SS. SS stands for single seat. I plan to put it on floats pretty soon, so that's why I got the registration CI wet. Wet being uh, what it's going to be in the future. I'm going to burn about half my gas right here. You can see the level. This is a Cooler up in the back for carrying maps and tie downs and ropes and my license and all that kind of stuff. Twin carb, Protax 503, three bladed prop, wood prop.
Here comes that ultralight back again. He's landing. <laughs> 